50 subscribers. 50 subscribers. 50 subscribers. 50 subscribers! We have 50 subscribers. Oh my god, that's amazing. You really do love me. Or at the very least, like to hate me enough to follow me on this thing. So in honor of 50 subscribers, I'm going to do something that I promised to do a while ago, and I did it because I'm just horrible. <laughs> I'm going to do my official Bodyline shoe review. Okay? I have three pairs of Bodyline shoes, and I'm going to put them on, give you a rating from 1 to 10. Let's say... One being a Mr. Yan scandal, and ten being a Mr. Yan body pillow. Let's get started. So I bought these shoes at a convention a long, long time ago. They're really old Bodyline Rocking Horse shoes. I really, really love these shoes. They're really comfortable, but if you wear them for a long time, they tend to hurt quite a bit. Not as much as real rocking horses, though. I give these shoes a 7 yans out of 10. They're also really easy to take off. These shoes are Body Lines 192 in pale pink, and they're really, really cute. Really, really comfortable. But when you wear them for a long time, since they're a little bit too big, they have really hard soles, so if my feet rub against them, it really hurts and almost blisters. I give these shoes 6 mystery yans out of 10. These are Body Lines Enamel White 161 shoes. They're heels, there's a very high platform, they're really comfortable for about 10 minutes and then it all goes downhill. It's hard to keep your balance, but I manage. They also have this really weird squeaky sound. Yeah, strange. I give these shoes 6 Mr. Gowns out of 10. Okay, so all in all, if you want to get shoes and you need them for an affordable price, you can go ahead and go with Bodyline if you're okay with how their policies are and the Mr. Yan business. If not, I've heard great things about Secret Shop, I've heard great things about Aunt Ina. Bigger feet, if you have wider feet, they can accommodate you. The shoes are good. They're good shoes. I paid like $20 for each pair except for I think the rocking horse shoes costed a bit more. Sometimes other shoe brands cost a lot, but you want to make sure that you get a good shoe that you can walk in and that looks good with all of your cords. So my major complaint about this guy, my major complaint about these shoes is that they are off-white. So it was supposed to be enamel white, and I don't know if it's the enamel that they put on top of them. It made it increasingly difficult to match these shoes to anything I wear. If you have not been wearing heels at all, this is going to be a challenge. And if you've been wearing them all weekend, say at a con or something, it's going to hurt. Like, these shoes hurt. <laughs> Painful as in, there's a lot of pressure on my heels, there's a lot of pressure on the balls of my feet. I don't want to move in these shoes. <laughs> you have to be like really mentally prepared to wear these shoes. I don't feel like I've wasted $20 on them, but I do think next time I'll come at it with open eyes. I suggest if you are a beginner Lolita to always go for the tea parties. Really nice flat shoe. Especially if you're in a calm or you're a daily Lolita, you need a nice flat shoe that you can wear whenever and wherever that won't completely destroy your feet and won't hurt, you don't want blisters or bleeding and all this other stuff, don't do it. So yeah, that is my shoe review. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope this helped, and if not, I'm sorry. Um, shout out to my 50 subscribers! Ah! Oh, ah! Well, I guess that's it. This is Puchikawa Daddy chan signing off. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'd like to hear from you. Mwah!